Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Randacia or Randy for short. In today's video, we are going to be closing out my June budget number one and setting up my my June budget number two. So let me zoom you guys in and I'll get started. Alrighty, so I already um, filled out most of this, so I'll just go over the updates. So for this paycheck, we got paid a total of $4,175.54, which is $133.91 less than what I was expecting us to bring in. Okay, so starting with the expenses, um, the mortgage came in on budget. I have to back into this childcare number to see how much um, we can put towards childcare since we did make less. So um, Vivint came in on budget. Everything else was basically on budget except Verizon was under budget for um, $121.34, which left us with $3.66 left over. So let me go ahead and add up the actual expenses so I can find out with um, how much we were able to put towards childcare. Because childcare is a sinking fund. Okay, so it came to $3,745.79. So minus the income that came in. Okay, so $429.75. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I do need to add um, the unbudgeted right here. So we did have some unbudgeted. I did chip in for um, for pizza for my boss's birthday um, at work. So that was $9 that I didn't budget for or take out of sinking funds. And then um, we did have two hospital bills come in. One was for $485 and the other one was for $265. But those two expenses came out of our medical sinking funds, not out of the money that came in for this paycheck. But I wanted to note it right here um, just because that's what, you know, to keep a accurate record of what happened during this paycheck. So let me go ahead and write the unbudgeted of the $9 because the $9 is um, did actually come out of this budget. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and add $9 to the expenses total from before. So it's 3,754 spot 79 is what we spent. So let me back that out from the income. Okay, so that's 420.75. Okay, so this down here is going to be um, 4,175.54 to match the income that we had coming in. And then um, let's see, let's go across so we can do this. See what the difference in the child care was. So 139.25. Is what we were short in putting in putting in our child care sinking fund. So um, let's see 139. 366. So now I'm going to um, add up all of these differences for the expenses. So the total is 133 spot 91 is what uh, the difference is in the expenses. So the 133.91 that we were short and the 133.91 that we um, were able to save in expenses nets out so that we weren't over budget. So that is how we are going to close out budget number one. So let's go ahead and set up budget number two. And all I'm, I already wrote in the expenses, the name of the expenses. And then I did have to go ahead and set up um, our new car loan, which just started um, this month in June. So I went ahead and set that up online and then um, I set it up for auto pay. So um, that is going to be two hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty nine cent um, every month. So I can go ahead and do that difference now, actually. 
So 71 cent here. All right, so backtracking a little bit. So I already wrote the expenses and the income. And then again, this section is just for any unbudgeted expenses that um, occur during this pay period. And this pay period is from June 4th through June 17th. So let me go ahead and write the um, budgeted amounts for the expenses. So 560 for child care, 120 for water and trash. And all I'm doing is following column two, which is all the expenses that I want to pay and paycheck to. That's all I'm doing and just copying it here. Electric is 15. Natural gas is 20. Life insurance for my husband is 69.96. Um, life insurance for me is $57.64. Uh, MetLife, which is our car insurance, is $334. Frontier is $54.76. Um, subscriptions is a total of $33.97, but I have it broken out here so I can track it individually. So this $33.97 is made up of Hulu, which is $11.99. Disney Plus, which is $7.99, and Netflix, which is $13.99. So um, next is our cash envelopes. Gas, we do $110. Groceries, we do $150. Costco, we do $100. Rollover, uh, one month ahead is... This time it's just going to be the mortgage, which did go up starting for the month of July. But since I'm um, one month ahead on the mortgage, we are already saving that new amount instead of the old amount, which it only changed for like five dollars and some change or something like that. So, um, yeah. Um, let me go ahead and put in this child care sinking fund so that Basically, um, we were working on putting anything left over in our budget in our medical fund because we are expecting twins, but we're pretty good on our medical fund and we have enough money that if we do reach our um, the out of pocket max for our uh, what is it, our health care plan, then we already have that. So what I'm doing now is basically any money that's left over, we're trying to beef up our child care um, sinking fund because, yeah, we have two babies, not one. So child care is pretty expensive already. So um, we're trying to get a head start on that. Um, so, yeah, 65 cent. Every little bit counts. Um, rollover for this paycheck, um, is $869 and two cent iCloud, which is all these are ex business expenses is $9.99. Adobe is $19.99 and Epidemic Sound is $15 and all of those, um, those last three expenses are business expenses. So I take that out of my business account. So we're going to backtrack one more time and put in the expected income. So $24.50 for our take home pay. Rollover is going to be 302 because I'm um, rolling over the money for our car insurance, um, our electricity bill, and what else? It was something and natural gas because we did get credits 
um, California credits on those utilities. So we haven't been paying the actual bill. Um, the credit has been paying the bills and the credit has been rolling over a couple of months. So um, I think this is going to be the last month that the credit is going to be applied because our bill is going to be larger than the credit. So I'm expecting to owe something, but um, I did take that money from us not having to pay last month's expenses and I rolled it over to this month. So you can kind of say I'm one month ahead on our natural gas and our um, electricity bill as well. But again, it's not going to stay that way because come the August budget, we'll be fully one month ahead on all of our bills. So I'm pretty excited about that, um, about doing that budget. But uh, patience is a virtue. So business, we are going to do $44.98. Okay, let's go ahead and total these up. So that um, expected total is 2,796.98. And then let's go ahead and total up the expenses. So the expense total is 2,796.98, which matches the income total. So that means we have a zero base budget, which is what I want. And um, um, I do need to stuff my digital cash envelopes. For those of you who are new, I do use um, Cube Money for our cash envelopes. The, the link to Cube Money is always in the description if you want to check it out. But it basically works just like cash envelopes where um, you put money into the actual um, like envelope. And then once all the money is gone from that envelope, then unless you transfer more money to that envelope, you can't spend from that envelope. And each category has its own like um, envelope. So, and you can have as many as you want. I have quite a few. So um, yeah, I don't know if there's a limit on how many um, like envelopes you can have, but uh, yeah, I do like it. And I think it'll come in handy once we get one month ahead because I'll be stuffing um, probably all of my cash envelopes at the beginning. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting when it comes to August budget and see how we handle one month ahead. But for right now, I'm going to highlight all of the, um, expenses that I need to transfer from our bill paying account to Q money so that we can break it down into the individual cash envelopes. So, So let's see, all of these are bills and bills stay in our um, bill paying account. So gas, groceries, Costco, and yeah. So those are the three that we need to transfer and that's gonna be 360. So um, let me go ahead and um, divide up the sinking funds right now and then I'll be back once I'm done. Alrighty, so that was my June budget number one or paycheck number one closeout, my June number paycheck number two setup. And 
the digital cash envelope stuffing for this paycheck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did and um, hit that subscribe button if you want to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.